So real quick before we get into the video, I just want to give a huge shout out to uh, Diesel Illusions for actually winning the deck giveaway. Um, thanks for supporting the channel and um, I went ahead and commented on your comment, that way you get the uh, notification. But make sure to email me so we can set up the arrangements for the deck giveaway and all that. Uh, but anyways guys, here is the actual video. Alright, so in order to start off this trick, all you want to do is pull out the four aces. You can set these on top of the deck and then you can show your spectator. Okay, so what we're going to do is use the Ace of Clubs, the Ace of Hearts, the Ace of Spades, and the Ace of Diamonds, right? So you take your four cards and what you do is you tell your spectators that you can snap your fingers and just like that, what you're able to do is flip over one of the aces and I'll show you guys again. I have one, two, three, four. Now we have two aces flipped over. And if I show you guys again with the snap of my fingers, we'll go ahead and we're going to flip over the Ace of Diamonds. I can take the deck again, snap my fingers once more. You guys will see I've actually flipped over the Ace of Spades, right? So obviously now all the four Aces are flipped over, but I wanted, if I wanted to, I could snap my fingers and pull back that Ace of Spades, right? Now at this point, you're probably wondering how I'm using, or you're probably you know thinking I'm using more than four cards, but in reality, I'm only using one, two, three, four cards and that is the trick and if you guys want to learn how to do it do not forget to stick around for the tutorial. Alright so here's how the trick is actually going to work. So the good part is there it doesn't really involve any gimmicks. Um, this is just you can do this with a re regular deck of playing cards. You go ahead and you take out the uh, the four aces from the deck and then what you want to do is take out three cards, two, three, and four from any suit. It doesn't really matter. But here is the setup. Okay so all you do you take the two, three, and four from whatever suit you grabbed them from and you put these on top of the deck. So you leave the four on top, so it goes four, three, and then two, and that's basically um, the only setup you're going to need. Now before you go up to the spectators, what you could do is get a pinky break underneath the top four cards. So I know you put the, the top three cards here, but you do need to break just an extra card. So it doesn't really matter the order of the deck, it doesn't matter what the fourth card is. In this case, it's a six of hearts, okay, but it really doesn't matter. You just need to get a pinky break above the top four cards with the top three cards being the two, three, and four. And uh, so from here what you do is you kind of just introduce the aces to the spectator. You can just say, okay, so I'm gonna use the four aces for this card trick. And then you just leave those all on top of the break. So now what you have is an eight card break, right? Well, once these cards are still inside the break, all you're going to do is get a pinky break underneath the eighth card. So it's very simple. All you have to do is put some pressure, drop a card, transfer that into a thumb break. This is only one card and this is now that random card that was below it, okay? And then at this point, all you do is you biddle count um, the next two cards. So you say, okay, so I'm going to be using the Ace of Clubs. You square this up, okay, and you transfer that to the thumb break. That way you have two cards in the thumb break. And then you transfer one more. That's the Ace of Diamonds. You transfer that to the thumb break. And at this point, once you've squared up that Ace of Diamonds, you're going to go ahead and release with your thumb at the bottom and come away with the cards. And now all you do is just drop those three cards, okay, and that random card on top is that random card, okay. This is going to cover it up and you have the deck once more and then you can count the ace of spades one time and all you do is square that up and you're still holding on to the ace, you don't drop anything, you just kind of do a middle count there. You can leave the deck on the table and at this point you're actually ready to do your first Elms account, right, so all you do is, I'm not going to teach this, I'm just going to leave the link on the screen for the Elms account, all you have to do is push over, here you grab one card, you push over a block, counting those and it looks like one of the aces has flipped over and at this point you do your first Elms account and then you show the spectators a card so you do one Elms account go one two three and then the fourth card that is going to be that double okay so this is actually two cards on top here but it looks like one you say okay look so I'm still holding on to the four aces two of them now have flipped over at this point you take the double on top and you move this to the bottom so this is what your setup is going to look like now you're going to have two cards in the bottom, two aces in the middle, one card on top. You square this up, you can snap your fingers again, you do another Elms account, and then it looks like the red ace disappeared, right? And at this point, this is going to leave you, you should have the ace of spades in the third position, and this is actually going to cover up these two cards. So again, you do another Elms account. This is the last one, you go ahead, you do the Elms account again, and it looks like all of the aces have flipped over. At this point, you say, okay, so don't get worried. You tell your spectator, don't get worried. I'm going to go ahead and just bring the Ace of Spades back really quick. And all you do is that same middle count. It's one card, two card, three cards, and you're holding on. And now this is going to be a double right here, the Ace of Spades. This is going to be a double with that other Ace. But you want to make sure 
to make it look like one so you can show the cards like this say look I have the ace of spades and from here this is when you tell your spectators okay so you know what you might be thinking that I'm using more than four cards right but I only have one and you drop that double so this is actually a double you drop it you say I only have one two three four cards and then from there that's pretty much the trick and if you want you can go pick up the cards square them up and then put the deck back in the box so that way they can't see what's going on but essentially that is the trick guys it's super cool I know it was a little bit lengthy so I would recommend you guys to go back and watch the steps remember it's one Elms account you count the cards you do two Elms accounts and you count the cards again and then you uh, show the spectators you only have four cards. So this is a trick. And again, congrats to Diesel Illusions for actually winning the giveaway. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, everybody. And um, till next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.